tight on time? Not a problem. Tonight, I'm gonna show you how to make dinner in a flash. You'll be surprised how easy it is. Tonight on Home Cooked, family dinners you can have on the table in 30 minutes or less. This is one of the best quick recipes. Natalie Gruzleski drops in for dessert that is absolutely irresistible. Oh, I've been eyeing this off since I arrived. It's like cooking with the kids, they nick mm. the ingredients. Mm, mm. <laughs> and what test will keep Julie on her toes? She's up for a challenge. <laughs> okay, wait Ready? There. No. Ready? Set. Go! Oh, God. Hi, and welcome to Home Cooked. There's nothing worse at the end of a long day than having to go home and cook for hours to get dinner on the table. So tonight I'm going to show you some meals that are simple to prepare, they're quick to prepare, in fact less than half an hour each, but they still taste great. This first dish is a real time saver. I love cooking fish for my family because I know how good it is for them. Tonight I'm going to make some fish with beautiful, fresh Asian flavours, which is among our favourite at home. And I'm going to cook it all in the time it takes for the rice to cook in the microwave. First of all, add two cups of rice to a microwave-safe dish, then three cups of water. And for a subtle flavour, throw in some coriander roots and a couple of threads of lime zest. And into the microwave on high for 18 minutes. When I'm using lots of fresh herbs and vegetables and Asian flavours, it's best to get all of that prepped first before you start to cook. So, on top of the fish, I'm going to have a lovely little salad. It's a really simple salad. Just finely slice the shallots and de-seed and julienne the chilli. Set the chopped chilli and shallots aside in a bowl for later. Then roughly chop some coriander and mint. When you're choosing fish fillets, it's important that they smell fresh and like the sea. If they smell fishy, they probably are fishy. This is a firm white fillet. This is a blue-eyed Trevella. I've heated up my pan. Just a little bit of oil. And I'm just going to cook this for, look, three or four minutes each side, two or three minutes. It depends on the thickness of your fillet. While that's cooking, I'm going to start prepping the garlic and ginger. So I just want to grate some ginger and crush a bit of garlic. A couple of cloves. OK, so that's just a little bit golden underneath. And you can see from the sides that it's starting to cook through to the middle. So I'm going to flip those over really gently. Oh, yum. And you cook it for a little less on the second side than you do on the first. Because when we put it aside, we're going to cover it with foil and it will continue to cook for another couple of minutes. So really and ideally, you want your fish slightly undercooked when you take it out of the pan. OK, I reckon that's looking good. To make the ginger dressing, turn down the heat on the pan and gently fry off the ginger and garlic. If you put ginger or garlic for that matter, or even onions, into a pan that's too hot, they go brown very, very quickly and they become bitter. Put in some fish or vegetable stock and a little bit of sugar just to sweeten it up. I'm just going to let that simmer away for a minute or two until it becomes a bit thicker. OK, that's about the consistency I want. It smells absolutely glorious. Oh, there's the rice, ready to plate up. Take the coriander roots and lime zest out of the rice. Squeeze in a bit of lime juice and fluff it with a fork. 
So here's our delicately scented coriander root and lime rice. Gorgeous piece of blue eye Travella. I'm just going to spread some of this beautiful ginger paste over the top. Top it with some of our lovely fresh salad and finish it off with some of these beautiful herbs. And there you have it, beautiful fish fillets with ginger and in under 20 minutes. Coming up, more of Julie's super fast dinner solutions. This next dish has saved me many times. And later, Natalie Gruzleski gets a little cheeky with dessert before dinner. You know, I've been eyeing this off since I arrived. It's like cooking with the kids, they nick oh. the ingredients. Mm, mm. <laughs> For best results, I never compromise on the quality of my ingredients. That's why I always buy Glad, not the imitations. So whether I'm baking, sealing in freshness, roasting, making the boys' lunches, or taking out the rubbish, I always insist on Glad, because nothing else compares. Glad Bake, on special this week at Woolworths. Glad are proud sponsors of Home Cooked with Julie Goodwin. You can always count on Glad. Welcome back. There's nothing better than a home-cooked meal at the end of the day. But if it's been a long day or a busy day, sometimes you just want to get the food on the plate as quickly as you can. This next dish has saved me many times. This is one of the best quick recipes. It only has a few ingredients. It takes less than 20 minutes to make, but what you get at the end of it is a beautiful, rich casserole type dish that feels as though you've been cooking it for hours. First of all, just cut some thigh chicken into thirds, then brown the pieces on a high heat to seal the outside and give the chicken a beautiful color. I'm gonna brown it in two batches because if you put too much chicken in at once, what happens is it lowers the temperature of the pan and instead of browning, the chicken sort of starts to stew in its own juices. While the chicken is browning, chop one large onion and crush two cloves of garlic. So the chicken's brown and I've lowered the heat because I'm going to put in the onions and the garlic. I don't need to put more oil in because the chicken has left some fat behind. So this I'm just going to sauté gently for a couple of minutes until it starts to soften up. So after about two minutes, when that's softened down a little bit, I'm just going to add some curry powder to cook off. This is just your traditional old-fashioned curry powder that used to be in, in mum's cupboard, you know. Uh, you can add as much or as little as you like, depending on the taste of the people who are eating it and you cook that because you don't want the raw spices. Next, we're going to add in some brown sugar. A lovely sweet curry. <laughs> a couple of tablespoons of tomato paste. This also goes into the pan before the yoghurt does, just so that it can cook off a little bit, so you don't have that real astringent, strong tomatoey flavour. And it smells gorgeous. Really, really rich. Yum. I'm going to put the chicken back in, along with any juices that have accumulated in the bottom of the bowl there. I'm just going to put about a cup of unsweetened natural yoghurt into this. Just stir that all through. And I'm going to leave it to simmer for around about 10 minutes or until the chicken's cooked through. I'm going to make a very simple roti now. It's just like an, a flatbread made out of flour, oil, salt and water. And I'm doing this instead of cooking rice, just for a change. The kids really love having the bread to dip into the curry and to eat with this lovely fresh cucumber salad that I'm going to make as well. So in a bowl, we've got two cups of plain flour, about a tablespoon of olive oil and a good pinch of salt. You put a little bit of water in and just stir, you can use your hands just to bring it together. Just add a little tiny bit at a time until it all comes together. It needs to be kneaded very, very thoroughly on a floured board. Keep adding flour to the board if you need to. 
Once you've kneaded it, it should be smooth and elastic. Then break it into eight pieces and roll each piece out on a well-floured board until it's very thin. Put it on a hot grill until it starts to blister up and go crispy and turn it over and do the other side. Okay, now I'm going to make some cucumber salad. This is the simplest salad, but the flavours are beautiful and they really offset the rich curry. Deseed two Lebanese cucumbers and slice thinly on the diagonal. Chop up half a bunch of mint leaves and then in a bowl, combine about a quarter of a cup of plain yoghurt, lemon juice, some salt and ground pepper and mix in the cucumber and mint leaves and toss it together. OK, so the rotis are made, the beautiful fresh cucumber salad's made and this chicken has been simmering away here for a little over 10 minutes and it's cooked through. So all I need to do now, add a little bit more fresh yoghurt and what that does is lighten it up and make it absolutely delicious and ready for serving. We're doing some really quick dinners tonight, so stick around, because after the break, Nat and I are going to make a quick dessert using beautiful fresh strawberries. Yum. Save some for dessert. <laughs> and later, Julie's speedy home-cooked meal with exotic appeal. And what test will keep Julie on her toes? Ready, set, go! Oh, God. 